I mean, if, if you knew that it was an adult in the building during school hours with a firearm, what would you do? <laughs> we just discussed this yesterday. It's unbelievable. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Are you on the school board? Uh, no, I'm principal here. Oh, okay. I've got a question for you, actually related. Oh, um, I hope it's uh, an easy one. Uh, I'd make them as hard as I can, but I'm not very <laughs> good at it. Uh, to what extent are Second Amendment rights respected here? Are adults allowed to defend the students? Are they allowed to have firearms? Oh, boy. I'm going to pass that question on to the superintendent. <laughs> Someone else are passed it. Are you talking about the new? Are, are you talking about the law? It was just, just, just the way it always has been. I mean, since I lived here. There's a... Yeah. Uh, New RSA uh, statute regarding um, guns and dangerous weapons in school. Oh, okay. Now that I didn't know about. You should talk to the uh, actually the police chief. I mean, if if you knew that it was an adult in the building during school hours with a firearm, what would you do? <laughs> we just discussed this yesterday. It's unbelievable. I would, I would politely ask. They, you, know, you know, as long as they know I'm threatening, they have the legal right to, to yeah. carry a firearm. You need to talk to some attack. Okay, I don't want to go on fair the, enough. Take me off the record. Uh, you're still on it, but I appreciate the answers. All right, take care. So he is checking with the superintendent, I guess. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I, I guess that does bring up a different question, though, and that is, I mean, if you're even politely discouraging firearm possession, does that make you responsible for anything that happens to someone as a result of being disarmed? Certainly, I want our school to be safe. I mean, that's my top priority, so certainly if I am worried about the safety of students, I would have to, I would have to act on that. Well, I mean, doesn't it endanger people to disarm them? I mean, look at what, what's happened in, Chi in Chicago. It's, it's Chicago's disarmed, supposedly, and that look how dangerous that is. You've got to read the new uh, law that was signed February 27th by our okay. uh, governor. All right. Um, concerning carrying weapons and uh, weapons in school. And there's still uh, federal laws that give us the authority, certainly with a student, to, to discipline. Should you be enforcing federal laws? I mean, the federal government tortures people. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going any further. <laughs> All right, good enough. You've gone far enough. I appreciate it. Some people don't answer any of my questions. So. All right, thanks much. What's your name? Brian Bagley. Okay. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Bailey. I hope I'm saying that right. I do have a clerical-related question for you, maybe. Uh, I tried to reach the school, I guess, on two or three different occasions yesterday just to figure out if this was going to be on time and everything, what the, you know, what was, what the status was. I could never get through to a human voice. And when I, it told me to dial zero, it, 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 told me that zero, it told me to dial zero for an operator, and then zero took me nowhere. What number did you dial? I don't remember. It's the one on the government website, the main website. Were you website. calling here? I don't know if I was calling this school. I was calling uh, the district, I think. Okay, because I answer the phone all day here. If you dial 654-6123, I'm going to answer that phone from 7.30 to 3.30, unless I'm on another call or away from my desk, I'm okay. going to answer that phone. All right. And it's going to give you the prompts if you call 654-6123. It's going to say um, press 1 for attendance, press 2 you know, for each different department. Okay. So I'm not sure. I was here yesterday from 7.30 to 3.30. Well, when I hit zero, it just said invalid key. Ours doesn't yeah. have a thing to say zero, so it may okay. have been the SAU office that you called. Something like that, yeah. If you call the SAU it's office, um, Christina Fowler is here. She's the executive assistant up there, so she might be able to answer your questions okay. there. Okay. No, I appreciate but, you trying. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if you called right. here, it would have been me. All right. And I was here all day yesterday. Okay, thanks much. Nope. <laughs> Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? 
Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them.